Hello. It's nice to see you again. We're just going to get right into it. As always, we're going to check in over here with my co-host, Kyle Hewson. Welcome. Welcome back to another episode of Kyle's Corner. And today, come on, we're going to talk about <laughs> veggies. Uh, I actually have a special guest for us to help us talk about veggies. He's salad extraordinaire and chef concierge, Zach Curry. Um, thank you. I don't touch. So, Zach, uh, your credentials list you as salad extraordinaire. I just had a quick, like, st it's not really a question. It's more of a statement. I just wanted to get your feedback on it. So now, going off this statement found on your Twitter page, uh, Veggies are fruit, but fruit are not veggies. Is that kind of like a squares are rectangles, but rectangles aren't square thing, or is that a whole other thing we're missing in the salad uh, together? Well, it's, 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 a, it's a give, 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 give. Take a little. Oh, I get it. So kind of so, like, so what like happens a function. Is, you know how fruit... I kind of came up with a list here, and I kind of figured... Tell like, me something, Zach. Paint us a picture of your normal... So, Sunday morning. Sunday morning. You wake up. I'm waking up. You put on your nice dungarees. They're on. You comb your hair. You go to church. I'm at church. You finish with church? I'm, I, I'm out. You come home. I'm home. What do you do? What do I do? I sit down. Veggies. Veggies. Vegetables. So, so I'm, I'm, a, little, I'm a little out of the, f the veggie game. What, who's this? What is he doing, Salad? So this guy, oh, this guy, <laughs> this guy. This is a key ingredient in salad. It is known as um, uh, lettuce. This is the four thousand. Uh, what's interesting about these barcodes is the numbers on them. That's actually um the number lettuce that was produced. No, no, get out of here! Hey, get out! No. Well, thank you very much for joining us, yeah, Zach. Yeah, th thank you again. Uh, uh, oh, I just had one more th quick thing for you here. Sure, sure, sure. So I'm sure, as you know, like when you're driving on the highway and stuff, you see a lot of roadkill. Listen, listen, so listen. You can't do this again, okay? You said I could ask him. I'm not gonna. You, you, I'm not gonna I asked you this, I'm and you, you told me to ask him. I'm not going to tell you, you this you, you said you didn't have an answer you to ask You can't keep doing but this. You, uh, every week with this, every, every week with this, you, you, I tell you, I try I to wrap up the interview, no, and you try to I, keep going. You always get one more question that you One more question. When does it end? When does it end? You're always going to have another question. I just want to know everything. Get him out of my sight. Get out. Get him away. Get out. Thank you for joining us. Did you ever think about getting nauseous? Would you please stop? You know him, you love him. He's the strings teacher here at BHS. Please welcome my next guest, Mr. Stephen Smith. <laughs> how you doing? I'm doing just fine. How are, how, how are you doing, <sighs> Mr. Smith? Good. I don't know if that many people know me. You think a lot of people around here know me? Well, tell us a little bit, I'm the guy a bit about who, yourself. Who's always playing the cello in the piano room? Probably that's how they know me. They go by yeah. and they hear my, my instrument. They walk by and they think, who's this weirdo? And no, right, right. Yeah, what is he doing here? The you piano know, room, that like a restaurant you play at? That local restaurant you do a little gig at every week? Just drive up just, there, you know? I don't know how he gets it. Play my cello, what, what, you mean like at the local Taco yeah, Bell or something? Yeah, local piano room, up, uptown, downtown. I played restaurants. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. All right, well, um, how long have you been playing the cello for? You told me you weren't going to ask me that question. All right, well. Um, how long have you been a teacher here? No, no I, I'll answer that question. Um, when I, I started when I was like 
12 years old. And that was like 19, in the 60s. Where did you draw inspiration at that time? For who, who or what did you draw inspiration from? Good question. Um, well, my father was the musician of the family. He played the pipe organ. And so I thought that was awesome to go to church and watch him play. So, I mean, I really, you know, my mother had no music in her at all. So it was just my father that, uh, you know, I was lucky enough to get his musical genes. Are those them, the musical genes? They are. Wow. Same look very comfortable. Same size. Nice. You know, I once knew a girl back in, uh, Jean? Back in high school. Her name was Jean. Yeah, she played the pipe organ. I knew organ. that was coming. Ah, pipe. Mm. So, uh, when, when was your house made? When was my house made? Yeah, Where like I live a now? time frame, year. Oh, God, that's an interesting question. I think actually around 1860, <laughs> if you really want to know. You're screwed. You got a lot of asbestos in your building. <laughs> you got to get out of there now. Uh, probably, but I don't have any kids there, so, you know, it's all over for me anyway, right? My age. Uh, how long have you been a teacher here? At Beverly High School. This is my fifth year. Your fifth year. How long have you been a teacher? Period. Uh, period. Uh, I started back, my first job was in 1980. Oh, and so that was, that was a when, long um, time ago. Who was president during that time? Uh, Nixon, I think. I once knew a girl back in high school. Her name was Nixon. She played the pipe organ. Yeah, she did. <laughs> when were you born? Let me guess, 2000? That's a good guess. Is that good? It's a pretty good guess. Who's your um, favorite composer? Oh, I don't even have to think twice. Beethoven. Why? He's my man. Why? I just love his music. It's What's fantastic. your favorite thing about him? My favorite thing. Passion. Absolute passion. Bit of, a bit of an egoist, too. Yeah, really but he's such a dreamboat. You got to admit. Actually, he was the ugliest guy. Terrible. Oh, but come on, right, well, at that level, you got to have a little bit of ego. You know that Beethoven was yeah. only like four and a half feet tall? Pretty small guy. I once knew a girl in high school who was four and a half feet tall. She played the pipe organ. <laughs> Should have seen her. Anyway, um, tell us a story. Maybe. Tell me a story. I'd be happy to tell you a story. About anything. Okay. As long Are as it's gonna... involving an animal. Just, like, throw an animal in there. All right. Well... Uh, you know, you know how one buys a cello like of the quality that I have. Sure. You, know, you don't go to like. No, you don't Walmart. go to Toys R Us. No. So uh, I was looking for a cello for four years, and I finally found a cello right across the street from New England Conservatory at a shop, and uh, um, I borrowed it for about three months, and then I decided that was the one. Took me years to pay for it. Where does the animal come into play in the story? You promised me an animal. You know, funny story actually. You know, the city just pays people to drive up and down the highway and scoop the roadkill off with a shovel. Oh, I know that. Yeah. yeah. I thought of a great idea though. You ever think of this? The Roadkill Cafe. Oh, many what times. What do you think, huh? Many. It you has. Know, just on the way to work. You exactly. Know, what, that, you know. Yeah, fresh squirrel. Plot du jour. Oh, of course. Yeah, you see what what's what's you know. All right, well, Definitely. before you go, I got one last question for you. What color is your toothbrush? I have an electric toothbrush, and it's black, and it has a white bristle brush. Hey, I got electric, too. Nice. You heard it here, folks. Mr. Smith does not own a toothbrush. Can we get a toothbrush out here for Mr. Smith, please? Hey, bring us out a toothbrush, please. There you go. That's for you. You can take wow. that home. I also, um, I drew you right here. And you can take that. That's for you to keep. Thank you so it's much for joining us, well, Mr. Thank Smith. You. It's been thank a you, pleasure Will. talking to you. And uh, oh, Thanks well, I understand out. that you actually um, you have a little performance that you'd like to do for us. I would love to. All I right, brought well. my cello. Okay. Let's see. Enjoy. Okay. 